Hello everyone. Welcome to this video. Today we are going to start our third lesson of science that is diversity in living things and their classification. Students, see some pictures here. Picture of desert. Picture of snowy region. And the picture of ocean. All these pictures are of different places. The geographical conditions at all these places on the earth is different. But then also we find that living things exist in all these diverse conditions. All living things try to adjust themselves to the conditions there. They have this ability. Here are some examples that prove this. In desert region, plants are either leafless or having thorns on them, which reduce rate of evaporation. Here you can see the picture of cactus and acacia tree. If you go to snowy region, animals like yak, polar bear have thick layer of skin with thick layers hair. Trees in this region are conical in shape due to their sloping branches. This prevents them from snow accumulation. So what do we understand from this? Living things try to adjust themselves to the conditions in surroundings. They have this ability, so they have survived. Generally, we divide living things into two groups that are plants and animals. First, we will learn about plants. Whenever we go outside, we see variety of plants in our surrounding. Like us, Plants also have different different parts that are roots, stem, leaves, flowers and fruits. We are going to study all these parts one by one. The root. It is the part of the plant that grows below the ground surface. Okay. Now if you observe roots of plants, you will find that some plants have this kind of roots. Such type of roots are known as tap root. Plants like banyan, neem, mango, etc. have these types of roots that are tap roots. Where some plants have this kind of roots that are fibrous roots. For example, onion, grass, etc. Functions of root. The first important function of root is support. Roots holds the soil firmly and anchors the plant so that plant gets support. The second function is absorption Roots absorb water and minerals from soil and transfer it to stem. The next important function is prevention of soil erosion. In the search of water and minerals, root spreads in nearby areas as well as go deep into the soil. They hold soil tightly. Because of this, soil cannot be displaced much with water, air, etc. And the last function is storage. Roots of some plants only perform this function, not all. Some plants store excess food in their roots. For example, radish, beetroot, carrot, ginger, etc. The next part of the plant is stem. It is a part of the plant that growing above the ground. It holds the branches and leaves, flowers and fruits. 
the height size and shape of plant depends upon the stem we find that some plants are taller and some are shorter one this is because the height and size of plant depends upon the stem the stem of some plant is hard and thick where some plants have thin and flexible stem now let's study its functions functions of stem the stem gives support to other parts of plant stem carries water and minerals from root to other parts of plant it also carries out the function of production and conduction of food the next function is reproduction in some plants it has function of reproduction next is storage in some plants stem carries function of storage the underground part of stem is used to store excess food some plants store excess food in the stem for example turmeric and potato etc leaf leaf is flat the leaves of most of the plants are green in color this is because they contain chlorophyll in them there are two main types of leaf simple leaf and compound leaf this is an image of simple leaf and this is image of compound leaf leaves can be small or big if you see banana leaf it is very much big while tamarind leaves are small in size okay now let's move to its functions the main function of leaf is food production leaves are also called as food factory or kitchen of plant why because with the help of chlorophyll sunlight water and minerals carbon dioxide leaves prepare their food this process is called as photosynthesis the next function is storage in some plants excess food is stored into leaves for example cabbage spinach etc we eat these vegetables flowers different plants has different types of flowers it is most attractive part of the plant they have specific smell many flowers produce a sweet smelling liquid called nectar nectar attracts insects the flower is connected to the stem by star this is hibiscus flower and here is its star stalk of hibiscus is long one while stalk of jasmine is short functions of flower flower is an important means of reproduction this is the most important function in flower fruit flowers of some plants transform into fruit here you can see it. fruits have different shape size color and taste wow all these fruits are looking very tempting i love all these fruits but students all fruits are not edible fruit like datura we can't eat because it is toxic in nature do you know the pores of beans and peas are actually fruits and nothing else fruits have seed in them fruit like mango have single seed where watermelon have number of seeds in it so student we have studied structure of plant as i told you earlier various types of plants are found in many places around us in this picture also you can see some plants like grass are short while other are tall and have a canopy some plants grow under water while some float on water some grows in desert while some grows in snowy region moreover we find that there is a lot of variety in the same type of plant for example there are variety of roses mangoes of different flavors etc 
there is huge diversity in plants. Students, if we decide to study diversity among plants, then it is difficult. So, for the sake of convenience, they are classified on the basis of the similarities and differences in their structure, their organs and their characteristics. The scientist Carlos Linnaeus made the first scientific classification of plants. Initially, it was his method of classification that was used by all. I hope you all may have understood whatever we have discussed till now. If you like this video, please share it and subscribe my channel. Thank you.